Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to explain to you the direction of electric fields coming from charges, and then the direction of forces on charges in an electric field. All right, so first of all, I have explained to you this before, <coughs> but I'm going to do it again. When you have positive charges, then electric field lines are going emanating out of it radially outwards in radially outwards direction okay so i'm not going to draw but it's going in all directions okay so that's enough if you have a negative charge then electric field lines are coming towards it okay so you can see that it's coming towards it so these are the electric field lines pointing towards the charge, towards the negative charge. For positive charge, they are going away from the charge. For negative charge, they are coming in towards the charge. All right? Now, if you are very, very far away from a charge, you can consider these electric fields coming from these charges <coughs> or other sources that you can consider them as parallel. So let's suppose you have an electric field like that. Just like the sun rays coming on Earth, coming to Earth, and then since it's far away, you assume that all the light rays are parallel. Similarly, we are assume that, going to assume that the electric field lines are parallel and going in that direction towards the right, towards the positive x direction. Now, if you have a positive charge, a test charge placed in that field, then the electric force acting on that charge because of the field will be in this direction, in the same direction as the electric field. Okay? in the same direction as the electric field. So what would be the force? Well, <coughs> electric field E is KQ by R square, right? Remember that when you have a positive charge and then if you have a distance R away up at a point R away from the charge, the electric field E at this point is given by the magnitude is given by k q by r squared, right? So now, if you have a charge here, then the force on that test charge will be just f is equal to e times q, all right? So if a test charge is q1, that'll be it's e times you want. So all you have to do is find the electric field at this point and multiply the by the charge Q1. Okay? Now, the electric field lines are going in that direction, but if you have a negative charge, then the force on the negative charge will be opposite to the direction of the electric field. So then the force on this negative charge will be towards the left, towards the negative x direction, all right? But the magnitude of the force will be calculated the same way. F magnitude on the charge will be E times E, the magnitude of electric field at that point, times the test charge Q1, okay? So it's very simple. All you have to do is Find the electric field. If you know the magnitude of the field, multiply with the charge that will give you the magnitude of the force. The direction is for positive charges, they will be in the direction of the field. And for negative charges, the force will be in the opposite direction to the electric field. Okay? All right. So that's how charges <coughs> will behave in if you place them in electric field, okay? And the formula to calculate the forces, F is equal to EQ, 
right? Whatever that Q is, Q1 or Q2 or Q3, any Q, you just put it there, right? So force electric field times charge Q will give you the force on that charge. Okay, so now I'm going to do a problem. And the problem is, the problem is chapter 18, number 27. There is a negative charge Q, which is minus 1.75 microcoulombs. That's a magnitude of this charge. And the force acting on that charge is upwards. In order to do that, they ask you to find the magnitude and direction of the electric field. So now I told you that, I have told you that the force of an on a negative charge put in an electric field will be opposite to the direction of the field. So since it has to oppose the direction of the field, then the field must be coming down like that, right? So that's the direction of the electric field. And then the force on that negative charge will be upwards. Electric field will be coming downwards, all right? So then that's their criteria. So the answer to the question about the direction is E field is directed downwards. What about the magnitude of the electric field? As I said, the force on the field is given. They want the force to be 2 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. So F is equal to EQ. And Q is the charge. And Q is given minus 1.75 microcoulomb. I want to find the electric field E. So the magnitude of the field E is magnitude of the force divided by Q. And the force is 2 times 10 to the power minus 5 newtons. And then I have to divide by charge Q. Because I am working with the magnitude, I'm not going to put the minus sign. And it is 1.75 microcoulomb, which is 10 to the power negative 6 coulomb. And so the answer is 2 divided by 1.75. These are the numbers in front. 10 to the negative 5, 10 to the negative 6. So we have 1, 10 to the power, negative 1 left. So if you put it in the numerator, it will be 10. The units will be newtons per coulomb, which is correct. So 2 divided by 1.75. You can put it in your calculator. So 2 divided by 1.75 will give you 1.14, 1.14 times 10 newtons per coulomb, or 11.4 newtons per coulomb. That will be the magnitude of the electric field, and the direction will be downwards. Okay?